What significance did your childhood or upbringing have in the life you are living today? Um, the very first thing is curiosity. Being curious has led me to know so much today. It led me to always want to study so that I am always current so that there will be no day that somebody will come to me and I'll feel embarrassed or I'll be embarrassed for not knowing what they're asking. The things that I've learned from my childhood that have influenced my life today is um, honesty. You know, my parents, they like fostered the spirit of honesty in us. Um, they always wanted us to be honest. For example, if you break a plate, you break a glass or anything that you destroyed in the house, if you reported it first before it was discovered, you were not punished. If it was discovered, then you'll be punished for it. I think being responsible. At an early age, like I mentioned earlier, we had a grinding meal, we had a provision store and a bar. So I started selling at that store at the age of, seven, I think, seven, eight. This phrase, business before pleasure, I learned it the hard way because there was this lady that was, she ran a restaurant. In the morning, she would always come to buy food to go and cook. In the morning, that's when we used to have breakfast. By the time I take mine just to have the first bite, I will hear that lady calling me. And then my dad will be like, go and sell. My mother will be like, no, let him eat. My dad will say, let him go and sell. I will go back to the store, sell for the whole day, maybe without eating. It became a routine that my mother had to go and confront that lady and tell her that because you cook and sell, you, you sell food, right? She was a vendor. Make sure that each time you prepare food, you come and give my son food because he doesn't eat in the morning and the father will not allow him to eat. Another responsibility that was given to me earlier on was um, my dad giving me the credit booklet to be in charge of credit collection and record keeping for the grinding mill. So this is how it worked. He had to roll lines on the book where we gave out the number of, um, since it was a diesel engine, so we have the number of liters that the machine consumed, the amount of money that was expected, because we had a standard, the amount of money that, the actual, that actually came in, and then the amount of credit that was given per, because we used to measure it per five liters. So that was what we were using, that matrix of measurement. So each time he came, he was never interested in the, the amount that actual amount that came in he was interested on how much debt i had collected so we used to have problems you would come okay this person was owing this this person came in the operator came and said this person is owing this have you done follow up as a child i used to do more follow up than what i actually do now maybe because back then i had just that particular task that i was focused on i used to know every debtor that we had so I believe I would have made a good um, credit collector. But I think, well, those are some of the lessons I learned from my childhood. I was also say that charity, being charitable, charity. I learned this from, I think, my, my mom, my parents, my parents, right? There was never a day, oh, there has never been a day that we prepare food in our house without sharing it with at least one stranger, or a neighbor, or a neighbor's child, or my friends, or my siblings' friends somebody outside must eat from that food even up till today in my own house it's the same thing that obtains that my mother taught us to be very um to appreciate what we have because to be contented with what you have that was my father's motto right and my mother's own was never waste food okay if you have so much give to somebody and make sure that what you give to that person is something that you can actually eat or you can actually use don't give food because it's bad because the person is poor you give him the, the lower quality or you wait when the food is getting bad before you share no and because of how i saw my parents lived i think charity is core to who i am today i am charitable which leads me to my life's mission so my mission on earth here is to live a charitable life and add values to the lives of others. For example, making these videos. That is what my life is centered about. Um, I think I am entrepreneurial in nature because I grew up in an entrepreneurial home, right? My mom was a farmer, my dad was a teacher and a businessman. Okay, this person says, I need more of your childhood upbringing 
I believe it's vital for our children too. Um, like I said earlier on, I think respect was the number one thing that was fostered. Honesty, like I said, we are made responsible. There's this lesson that my mom taught us that I will never forget. She made us understand that nothing good comes easy. This is what she would do. When um, the academic year was to begin, she would send us to the farm to go and harvest the remaining corn in the farm. You know, when you plant and you do replanting, the ones you replant will mature later. So those ones will always be like scanty in the farms. You will need to go and harvest it. So she said, the quantity you harvest, you have to sell and that will be the amount you make. And then too, I also say that they instill competition among us in terms of results, in terms of choices. <laughs> she had this thing, when you wash place, you come and send them. If there's the, the scent of soap on it or the detergent, she will tell you to rewash them. Now, she will always, when she gives you her, her loins, right, we got here wrapper to wash, she will come and compare the edges to see if you actually wash them clean. So she will tell you, this person washed them clean, this person did this. So we always had this competition among us. Um, we were encouraged to love one another. That was a thing we were always loving. That is, I think that is the most important. Still today, we are always together. Um, this, my mom, so my parents, they told us one thing, the ability to keep secrets, right? When you have problems in your house, you always keep them. Because I, even where I live today, and how my parents have seen them live, there's never been a day a, a neighbor used something that somebody said, like or something my mom said to them, or my dad said, or I said to a friend that they used to insult us when we had a problem. It's difficult because they taught us to know how to keep secret, to keep use the roof to collect. They say the roof covers everything. I think that's one thing. The ability to keep secret. I think those are the key qualities that that are instilled in us, that are helping us today. And then with the entrepreneurial um, skills that we learned, you don't need to be shy when you're doing anything. You should learn to give children responsibilities at an early age. If I could handle the amount of responsibility I had selling at the age of eight in a store, I will leave the house at eight, I will return at six. By then we are using this, um, this cassette, right? The square cassette. So we had this amplifier that um, 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 I would sit there from 8 p.m. winding those cassettes from side A to side B. I learned how to manipulate those things at a very early age because for who I am, like Sigmas, we pick concepts easily and we like complex things, right? Now at the age of 10, 11, I used to be at the bar up to 11, 10, 11, 12 at times, picking empty bottles. So those, that entrepreneurial skills have been instilled in me since from time immemorial. Up till today, I, at times I sleep at 4 a.m. I sleep for four hours. It has been something that is in me for a very long time. So when you train children to grow up, you will be amazed with what um, a child's brain can hold at that moment. If I can do it and I'm still here, then you can do it.